Its origins date back thousands of years, from northern China into Russia and beyond. But strangely, it wasn't until 1995 when the word kombucha was first recorded. Well, since then, an entire industry has literally exploded before our eyes. A lot of people thirsty for kombucha. But there's a guy in Bend who thinks he might have the latest addition to the market. Like a lot of other great startups, Josh Kabobel's entry into the world of kombucha brewing began out of necessity, or at least out of fiscal responsibility. My wife really liked kombucha, and then she introduced me to it, and I liked it as well. And we found it was really expensive to, to buy at the store, and I thought, you know, what's the, what's the point in paying for, for this at the store when I, I can make it myself? I, I think it's really fun to, um, to, to make a product and uh, that, that it tastes good, that it tastes like something I could buy in the store. He clearly remembers his first batch. Oh, that was, geez, like three years ago. And it was an epic fail. But despite his mild-mannered exterior, Josh was bubbling inside, determined to come up with the right combination of tea and sugar and this goopy thing called a scoby just a symbiotic culture of, of bacteria and yeast. The SCOBY, which honestly looks a little like prehistoric goop to me, is the key in the fermentation of the tea into an effervescent, tasty kombucha. I'll put tea in it, and then I'll, I'll let, let, let that steep um, for a long period of time. And as far as flavors are concerned, the sky's the limit. I've experimented, and uh, uh, there's all different. You can do it whatever you want with it. You can use herbs, you, you can use fruit juice, um, fruit. Um, it really depends, and, uh, and everything's gonna, um, it's gonna bring about a different product. And though there's not any scientific proof, lots of folks claim kombucha can improve your health. I can say after a long run um, or uh, a bike ride, uh, I feel rejuvenated after having it, and if, um, if I haven't had tea in the morning, I, I, I definitely feel more energized. Um, I definitely feel like there's a, there's a probiotic content to it. You, you can speculate on, on what that is, but uh, it, it definitely uh, helps to keep me alert. He's coy about taking it beyond his kitchen, though his kombucha drinking friends are unanimous. Do it. You never know what the future holds, but for right, right now I'm, I'm just trying to perfect it for, for myself and for my wife and friends. Not bad. I'm thinking Kabobel's kombucha. <laughs>